Hi. I would like to introduce Matt. And he's here for an 11 month adventure. And he's just started about a week and a half ago. So every two weeks, we're going to try to make an episode where he can talk about what he's been experiencing, what he's been facing, and hopefully it'll be fun to watch. This first one is mainly an introduction. He's just been here a little while. You'll see that he's living in a, he's got a really nice um, bug out, shelter, like a bug proof shelter. And the concept here, this is, this program is less survival skills oriented than some other programs I've run in the past. It's heavy on meditation, martial arts, other elements. So I wanted him to have a little bit more comfort out there in the woods so that he could focus, for instance, on long meditations, especially as he begins those meditations, not having to fight hordes of mosquitoes, which luckily the mosquitoes aren't too bad right now anyway. But this is Matt, and he'll speak for himself. I hope you tune into these. I think they'll be fun to watch his personal growth and evolution as he goes along and figures out how to navigate life outside of regular civilization. Yeah, week one is concluded. So far we've had two thunderstorms per week exactly and that's the rate that I can accept I think. We had a big thunderstorm the night that I arrived or the morning after that was crazy. The road up here was super slippery. We were just sliding all around like muskrats trying to climb up here. We're at the top of a ridge here. It must be 200 feet high, I guess. And it's a bit of a hike to get to anywhere around here. Right now we're in one of the big hay fields. And this is a pretty nice to place to hang out. The mosquitoes don't like it as much as I do, which is one of the reasons it's nice. Uh, you get it's the grass here is pretty pokey, so you have to be careful walking around barefoot. But if you go into the forest over there, that's where I'm camped. It cools down like 10 degrees just walking in there. I, rem I remember Wisconsin being really hot in the summer, and it does get pretty hot out here in the field, but. Where I'm camped, it's usually around 70 degrees, maybe 75. Only when I'm making dinner, I ever really get hot. Here you have the cooking area. As you can see, the grate fits nicely over here. And I pulled up one of these bricks from the farm road. I'm planning to collect all of the bricks that are on there eventually and upgrade my stove to brick instead of rock. I think it should breathe better. Sweet. All my pots there. Food supplies stay in these boxes. I've got my kale in this jar of water in a vain attempt to stop it from wilting. It doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> well protected, I see. From yeah. <laughs> Raccoons. Helps sit down. You want to step inside. The door is a bit tricky. I'm not sure how long it'll last. Zipping and unzipping every day. But here's my bed area. Nice and neat, as you can see. I set up those sticks yesterday for my bed frame. Yeah. Uh, can't say I'm a fan. Okay. I... We'll take a look uh, at that today, because there's something we can... Yeah, I, I guess I just that. prefer sleeping on the ground. There's no... Uh, I guess I felt constrained on that last oh, night. Oh, interesting, yeah. Trying to keep from rolling around. But it's comfortable here. Nice. Hasn't rained since the first day. Yeah. <laughs> it's in really good weather. It's taking a pretty big adjustment to be out here. Like, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, just kind of going cold turkey from a total civilized life to being a woodsman, you know. Just going straight from cooking meals with a microwave every day and being able to surf the internet all day if you want to, you know. It's a really big adjustment. There's no nothing you can do really. Like your emotions get a lot stronger out here. Uh, if you get, if you end up with an emotion that you don't like, and you're if you're in a civilized place, normally you would just 
oh, let's go watch some Netflix, and then I'll feel better. Around here, if you're sad or lonely or something, you just gotta deal with it. And I think that's a pretty big point for growth, because that's all part of the natural experience of being a human. Feeling all those emotions, not trying to suppress them. Broke this one in half. Nice. We're doing nature to our will. <laughs> I've been making my fires with flint and steel since I came here, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Sorry. Never done that before. I've been doing the magnesium strikers every now and then, but this is the real deal. We've been getting chert from the roads around here, striking sparks yes. off one of those steel strikers. Uh, I, have, I have a supply of char cloth, which makes it pretty easy. You just have to get some char cloth and light up some grass and just blow on it, and that'll make it a nice hot fire bundle. But now all my char cloth is wet because it rained last night. It was crazy last night. It was thundering for like an hour. I got to bed at 9 and I was still thundering at 10.15 and then the rain started, the rain just came in. It was just dead silent besides the thunder and then just sitting there in my tent I heard the leaves rustling and shaking like, like an oncoming tidal wave just coming straight at me and I just felt my tent caving inward from the force of this pressure that was coming in and the, the rain just hit like a like a tidal wave, like a tsunami and it rained for nine hours straight just really hard pound, 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 pound everything got wet I, I was like huddling in the middle of my shelter uh, next to this tree that I cut down and there's still a bit of it left in my shelter I stayed pretty dry I had all my stuff just stacked on top of each other in the middle. I was like, get the books off the ground, get it among all the clothes. So most of my things stayed dry, but all my firewood is soaked, all my pots got full of water, so nothing I left outside stayed dry at all. I made a shelter yesterday, you'll see that in some of the pictures. I thought that would be pretty neat. I put a bunch of goldenrod uh, leaning up against the middle of it. Oh yes, this will shed rain perfectly. It's like old-fashioned thatch. That might have worked for the first hour, but uh, nothing would have stopped that rain. That was crazy. Surrendering to my inner badger. <laughs> Did a bunch of martial arts recently, just came back from that. We were way over there, about half a mile in the pine forest, which is why I'm all covered with dirt and pine needles. That was pretty fun. It's like a pine plantation. They planted a bunch of trees there to grow for lumber. And it's really nice and calm there. Pine needles on the ground, hardly any undergrowth. These forests around here are really cool. Because when you're looking at them, it's just a whole, just leaves and greenery and just tons and tons of plants. But once you get in there, past that canopy layer, you can walk around and it's not like you're trying to push through bushes all of the time. You can actually get around. It's really nice. I've been having some problems with making food. Uh, so it's a long process to get fire going and hot um, by the time and then and then you have to boil your water after that and put all your ingredients together it takes a long time it really feels at the moment like more work than it's worth like I'd rather just get a MRE pack or something and just eat that straight but it seems to be getting easier 
of getting quicker at making food. I had a bunch of beans and rice, or beans and bread and cheese yesterday. Really simple meal, but really good. Although I forgot to change the water on the beans. I think I'm adapting to the mosquitoes. I'll get like a bite on my arm or something, and I mean I'll scratch it occasionally just because it really itches, but I'll check the same place like uh, four hours later and it'll, it'll be nothing there. So that's very different from how I used to react to mosquitoes back home. Maybe adjusting physically, it might just be mentally, just the act of not scratching it. I'm not sure. But that's not as much of a problem as it was when I first got here. If you've got access to coffee right now, catch yourself grateful. <laughs> donuts, coffee and donuts, the perfect meal. Really bad for you, but I really missed it. I'm sure I'll get used to that. I got a pie at the farmer's market last Saturday. That was really good. Most challenging thing you faced hmm. so far? Most challenging thing is, I think the homesickness has been the most challenging thing. Because pretty much everything I've faced before, like I've faced having to make a fire before, I've faced mosquitoes before, but I've never before faced the idea of being uh, by myself away from my home for a whole year. So that's been the most challenging thing so far. I think, I think it's getting better, but it comes and goes. Like I said, the, you get really emotional out here. Most um, pleasant thing? Hmm. I think the martial arts practices have been the most fun so far. You get really, like, you get down in the dirt, rolling around, trying to grapple with each other. That's a lot of fun. It's a great workout. You know, learning to kick stuff, punch things. Uh, it's been super fun so far. Nice. <laughs> You're gonna go take a bath after this? Yeah. <laughs> down to the stream? It's a pretty long walk down there. It's probably like three quarters of a mile from here just to get down there. But it's a nice walk. I saw a trout fisherman down there yesterday. Or the day before, I think. He was fly fishing. But it's generally pretty solid. I'm generally the only one down there, I think, so it's a pretty nice place to go. Now that the sun is out, I actually won't freeze to death. It's like a massage when you get into it.